This is part two. This is a little final for the bronze medal. The referee is talking and talking and talking because probably I was scared I hurt anybody. I don't hurt anybody. I know the rules. And yeah, we're going to go in a second. My opponents are already laughing here. <laughs> okay, anyway, so my goal is to pull guard here and to show my rubber guard because it didn't work out the first fight and uh, in Germany there are a couple of uh, MMA and Jiu Jitsu sites so, uh, claim that the rubber guard doesn't work so I really wanted to make this one work here so I pull guard, take a second to breathe because I realized that didn't look nice it's pretty ugly so now this guy was strong like an ox but all those guys are strong, so they definitely lift. So this time I don't screw around here. So I work my rubber guard as fast and good as I can do. My goal here is to transition as often as I can to, to confuse him a little bit. And to keep it tight, very tight. And so I almost got him here in a trank position. But somehow I couldn't get back with my hips. To create a better angle, so I decide to uh, do a triangle above his shoulders. Does not work out. So I'm going to readjust in a second again, and that's how his pressure was. I mean, all the way he was working like crazy. He pushes down my hips perfectly, tries to pass. I prevent this, put one hook, one leg in, and I'm going to slide over his back all the way and get right away. Included the zombie, my mission control. And I try to pull the Kani, but he's blocking my knee and my hips here. So I change my tactic in a second. He's going clockwise, and I grab his wrist to set him up for the pyramid. And uh, I got it. But he pushes his shoulder all the way in. There's nothing for me, really. So I have to change again, transition a couple of times, try to release some pressure, push his head to the other side so you can push his head into my neck. And now this, this I totally got him here. I mean, he was, he was super tight. I felt it was perfect pressure there. He couldn't move with his upper body in his arms at all. He was locked up, but not locked enough to submit him. So I had to create a little space. Now he reaches all my toes. So I tried to pull the straight jacket on him. You usually have to clear his neck first and take it from the front to go to the special case. So I get a warning from the ref. He tells me no bicep slicer, but that's not a bicep slicer. So I set it up like a carny because his left uh, uh, right arm was ready to go for the inverted armbar. And he taps verbally and the fight is over. And I almost fall over because I flex my legs for three minutes. I didn't let go for a second so but my you know the oxygen is coming back lactic acid is going away so I'll be able to walk again. It takes only like a minute. Okay yeah that was a little final at least I got something here and the next uh, last minutes is going to be the interview and uh, when we get our medals and I hope you like it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Are you from Germany? No. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name again? Ross. Ross. Great. That was really awesome. Very strong. <laughs> Gave me lots of hard time. At the end I got lucky. <laughs> How was the fight for you, Ross? Good luck. Well, it was tough. Uh, you know, I don't know a chance to grab the guys as tall as I can. But obviously he's got some massive um, work with the legs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Masters Division, the Advanced Cruiserweight category. In third place, from 10th Planet, Rolf Warneking. Bringing home the silver for Team Hammer, Rodney Wignier. And no surprise, in first place from Cobra Kai, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best fighters pound for pound in his Asian division, Nico Holt.
Antonio De Leon, you are fighting for third